in terms of environmental factors, we do know that population-based environmental factors can increase someone's chances of showing the disease, but there's not like a clinical trigger that is due to the environment. There is some evidence that perhaps something to do with the amount of sunshine, with vitamin D, with UV radiation could be a risk factor, but there's nothing that's been definitive. So just because you have one type of MS or respond to therapies in one way or have certain first symptom of onset, that doesn't mean that if another close family member develops the MS that it's going to be the same course or the same onset or the same response. Well, I think the ongoing studies are in terms of the role of genes in the clinical progression of the disease, the role of genes in susceptibility, and also the role of genetic information in trying to come up with therapies.